This citrus glazed ham can be the centerpiece of your Easter table this year. It's super easy because guess what? The ham is doing all the work. We're making a really quick glaze that's gonna to come together in seconds, but taste amazing. It's gonna give you this ham so you can serve it to all your friends and family or anyone you want. Let's go. When it comes to spring meals, Easter meals, usually ham is the go-to choice. It's like an old traditional standard. So it's not that you have to, but if you're choosing to do a ham, what is great about them is they can be very easy, which is what this citrus glazed ham is all about. We're taking great flavors. We're gonna make a glaze out of marmalade, Dijon mustard, some citrus, of course, some fresh rosemary. But the important part first to start with is a ham. A good ham is not scary. I always look for a good bone-in ham. You can get a spiral cut. Personally, I like going with ones that aren't so I can slice them how I want to myself. Spiral cut can be, they, they're pre-cut, but I don't actually think it's easier. So what you have to start with on a ham, because it's already cured, but it's heating it up. So what we're gonna do is put our ham in, that cut in down, and you can see it's just that beautiful kind of more presentation side of the ham. So what we wanna do is I'm not gonna put anything in there. You can see that there's no anything. It will draw some of its own juice. But I am gonna cover it with foil. So what we're gonna do is trap in all of that moisture and we are just going to put this in the oven and let it slowly roast and come up to temperature. It's not about roasting traditional meats like we do for browning or anything. What this does while we're roasting is just heat the meat. That's really what we're gonna do. And as we get towards the end, we're gonna talk about how we make our glaze and how we glaze it so you can have an easy, perfect ham that is not dried out. No one wants to dried out ham. And everyone's gonna really think you are the best when it was super easy. I pulled the ham out. I like to do it about 10 degrees under its finished temperature. Let it sit because what I did was turn the oven up and now we're gonna make the glaze and it will finish again in the oven to get a little bit more caramelized with the glaze. So super easy. We're gonna start with orange marmalade. You can use any jarred variety you like. And that's the best part. Now, I have done it with apricot too, but the orange is really what's important here. We're gonna put in a little bit of Dijon mustard. These flavors just become the sweet, tangy offset to that rich ham, because ham is kind of rich when you think about it. You have that smoked flavor with it. And then I'm taking a lemon and orange, I'm gonna cut them in half, and we're gonna put the juice right in there. So you can imagine, this is a car car orange, so it has that gorgeous interior that almost looks like a grapefruit, but is in fact an orange. You can imagine those bright flavors and how they're really gonna work with that rind that's in the marmalade already, which to me is such a beautiful moment. And it just brings this citrus pungency that to me, you just can't, you can't go wrong with. So we want the lemon in there too, which that lemon has such a beautiful, bright flavor. And then to finish this, I want a little herbal note. So we're gonna put in some chopped rosemary that I have over here. I do think fresh rosemary in this instant makes a real difference for the flavor. So we're gonna put it right here, put it in. You can see, we're just stirring with the whisk. And what this does now, just needs to heat up and come to a simmer so it binds everything together. But look at that beautiful color, but also it smells amazing. So we're gonna bring this on to a simmer, then we're just gonna pour some on the ham. We're gonna finish glazing it. It's a beautiful thing. This has been simmering just for a couple minutes, which is all you need. And really you can see it thickens maybe slightly, but it just brings it all together. But oh, it smells so good. What I wanna do now is just brush it on. So what I did was I drained, you can see the ring here, that line from where some of that water from the ham goes. I reserved it, set it aside, just for presentation reasons, just so it's not a pool of liquid in the bottom. But that's normal for a ham. So what I wanna do is brush this all over. Now any of the excess is served as a sauce with it, but there is some sugar obviously in here because we're using that marmalade, which is like a jam. So it has a lot of sugar. And what it does in the oven, since I cranked up the heat, is it's gonna caramelize. It's gonna begin to darken, get some of those beautiful kind of browned bits on it. And that's what I want. I want it to do that because it almost makes a little bit of a crust on it, which I think is good. Because ham on its own, it is what it is. You don't really change a ham. You don't change the flavor. They're all somewhat taste like a ham. You can over bake it so it gets dry, but a glaze, while it can give it a little bit of extra moisture, gives it a little bit more flavor and a better presentation. That's really what we're going after here. I'm just making sure to glaze it really well. Now I'm gonna pop this back in uncovered until it's done. Isn't this a beauty? It gets caramelized. You start to get those darkened bits on top. That's what I love. That skin is getting gorgeous and it's ready to go. So you always wanna let any meat sit out of the oven for, you know, at least like 
10, 15 minutes before you really start carving it, just so it redistributes its juices. But then you can serve it up however you want. Now, if you have a spiral cut ham, obviously, those are a little bit more predetermined for you. I'm just gonna take a piece off right here. I love the outside layer. But look how beautiful that is. It's moist, it's beautiful, it's delicious. That's probably a little big for me to stick all in my mouth at once. But I wanna try it with the sauce because as you can see, I put that sauce right in a little dish so you can, you know, just have some and enjoy it. But look at this, look at that sauce with it. I love this. This is actually a refresh for my website. I've had it on there for years. And it's one of my favorites because ham on its own has a delicious smoked flavor. This just enhances it. You get that sweet, you get a little bit of that rosemary coming through. It's that perfect accompaniment and it's perfect for your Easter tables or just anytime you wanna have something a little bit special. So that's what I hope you do with this. I hope you share this around so other people can see how easy it is to make something for your meal that is special, maybe out of the ordinary but doable. Check my website, wiseguy.com for this recipe and anything you want to go with it. Enjoy.